Welcome again to Casting Cues. I'm Sarah Levin, and again, we're here today with Tracy Twinkie Bird from Twink of the Eye Casting. Hi again, Tracy. Hi. Knowing that you have an extraordinary life, um, what has been your coolest casting gig? Or your favorite? Your favorite casting gig? There are so many. All right. Sky's the limit. Spike Jones directed it. All little kid lookalikes were Puffy, Notorious B.I.G., Little Faith, Little Little Kim, Little Snoop, Little Jay-Z, Little Everybody. It was like my Bugsy Malone, if you will. Nobody remembers that movie but the grown and sexy, but that's fine. <laughs> it was my Bugsy Malone. Yes, that was, that was one of the coolest, and Spike was bananas great. And, um, and my absolute favorite, of course, to date so far is Notorious, just because, you know, I worked for Biggie, and... And then, you know, through the whole process, and this, I'm from Brooklyn, and uh, that movie meant so much to me. I was like, okay, if I go now, I'm good. Because that was just uh, blood, sweat, and tears, like, uh, and I seriously mean it, blood, sweat, and tears, and some hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where do you go to find your actors? Do you, do you frequent the theater? Do you, I mean, you go to acting classes? I go to acting classes, I go to the theater, I go to workshops, showcases, the mall. You'd be surprised. Wow. The mall. Everywhere, wherever. I'm one of those people, I'm in I, gregarious personality. So I will speak to anyone. I will have a conversation with anyone about anything because I find everything fascinating. So I don't care what it is that you do for a living or how much you love your dog or whatever the situation is, we can talk about it. Let's have a conversation about it. And whatever that passion is, especially when, when, when I was doing commercials and I'd meet people that love their dog because then we got the pedigree commercial. And I was like, great. I'm meeting people that love their dog. They want to do a commercial about people that love their dog. So real people casting, perfect. So from time to time, you know, you, you're able to do that. You're able to meet people in classes or in workshops that may not have representation. A lot, a lot of workshops where they don't have representation, I look forward to it, especially if they're strong enough to hold their own um, in a scene, but for most of those young people, I say, you know, do student films and short films. Make sure it's their thesis project, so it has to be done so you can get, you know, you can get your tape. But um, in order to get them acclimated to that whole setting, because some people get on set and they just lose it, you know, so you have to, you have to get acclimated sometimes to that kind of, that kind of setting. But yeah, I, I do everything. I, everywhere. <laughs> You're talking about being a well-rounded actor and being prepared. Yep. So. On that same vein, what can an actor do to make your life easier? So being prepared is important. And I'm not saying be off book and don't come in too cocky with no sides because that's the second when you freeze up and then you want my sides and I'm like, no, because these are mine. So um, bring your sides, but be prepared and try to, try to give as much in, in the session as you possibly can because know that when we're shooting you, like you're shooting me now, when we're shooting you, it's a commercial. I want the best commercial of you to go to the studio or to the director or the producer or all those who are making the decisions if they're not in the room. And I can't have the best commercial of you if you was doing this. I can't see anything. I got nothing, nothing happening. You can't tell my inner work, you can't see anything. You know, and I need to see inside those eyes see what's happening in that spirit, what you're bringing to the table. I need to see all of that. And um, be ready. Be ready and know your worth. And because we can't, we can't have movies and television shows without you, you know? So know your worth. Um, and like I said earlier, don't oversell it. There is, so many people are shooting for leading, leading. I'm like, man, the supportings are the ones that have 30, 40 year careers. What's with the lead thing? Chill out with that lead thing stuff, okay? Because they're the first one on the call sheet, and they're also the first one to go when the movie doesn't go well. Nobody wants to touch them with a 10-foot pole, and I mean it. So um, be prepared. Know your worth. Be on time. Don't wear too much makeup or cologne because you're killing us. You're, just, you're killing us in the room. Really? Really? I don't care if it's Chanel number 2000. Stop it. <laughs> really? Another thing, small thing, is always try to wear a little pop of color. They go through the tape so fast, sometimes it's just the chick in the red blouse, the guy in the 
bright green shirt. You just never know. You know what I mean? So get that, get that wardrobe together, a little something, and make sure that you're prepared. And um, you'd be surprised, especially the colors that look really good on you. You know, you set the tone also with how you, how you present yourself, how you dress. That's great. I mean, that's great advice. Thanks again for joining us for Casting Cues with Twinkie Bird. I'm Sarah Levin.